I don't have much time to record this, so it might be a little rushed, but um, we'll go through the Battle Pass skins first and then the shop skins. So at tier one of the Battle Pass, there is a legendary Anna skin called Nighthawker. Now I gotta be honest, you know, another Anna Amari young skin, I already like it, you know? This is basically Anna if she was in a Naruto episode or if she was like an Avengers hero or something. We've got this like feathered design through the entire body. We've got the ninja mask. We've got this hawk crown and look here, right? particle effects. If a skin has particle effects, 10 out of 10. The eyes look pretty cool on this skin. I'm going to take a look at a close up in a minute, but let's take a look at the weapons. Okay, we got like a bamboo textured design here. It kind of looks like a harpoon. Anna melees with her fist, right? She should just melee with this. It will easily do like 100 damage. Yeah, I like it. What about the sleep dart? Pretty standard. I'm going to show you all of the skins in first person as well, because, you know, that's pretty important. Sometimes I'll, you'll get a skin. It's like, yo, I like it. Then you play first person and the gun will like cover the entire screen or something. Yo, the texture on the hood. I like it. Yeah, you can see like one of her eyes has been damaged here. First person. It's all right. Not my favorite. Tier 10, we have a Hammond skin called Critter Egg. So I heard that when you have this skin equipped, since Hammond's ball is just an egg, if you roll through the enemies, you just crack open and you play as Hammond. At tier 20, we have a legendary Junker Queen skin called Huntress. Yeah, Junker Queen has cyborg legs now. By the way, I, I don't even know the theme of this battle pass. I think it's something to do with like hunters and a raid boss. And the raid boss is the mythic skin. We'll get to that. I like the design of the armor here. It's quite unique. And I'm pretty sure Junker Queen has Mohawk looking hair on every single one of her skins. Mohawk. Momo. Look, particle effects. 10 out of 10. All right, let's take a look at the weapons. We got the shotgun. Yo, particle effects on the shotgun. Let's go. The axe looking good. The knife. There it is. Yeah, I'm only going to go to first person on the legendary skins, by the way. So let's do it. Yo, yo, this looks pretty sick from first person. Yeah, this is a cool skin. Tier 30, we have a legendary Reaper skin called Hazmat. What's the, that new game that everyone wants me to play? This is Reaper from Lethal Company. He's getting ready to counter the like poison damage DPS that hasn't been released yet that I just made up. I like this skin, but you know, I don't think he'll be very stealthy. I mean, it's super bright. Particle effects. 10 out of 10. Why does it look like there's poison in these gas tanks? Like this is supposed to protect you from poison, whereas Reaper's just vaping the poison here. Anyway, the weapons, full of jelly. We're just gonna be shooting jelly into the Anna we just teleported on. Since I'm from the UK, it takes me like a whole 10 minutes to hack into the server. Come on, man. There we go. There he is. Bam. His shotguns look pretty cool from first person. Wait, what do his little shotguns look like? Do I have that emote? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. It's the baby shotguns and the, and the baby tiny shotgun. So at level 40, we have a legendary Lucio skin called Graffitiro. Yo, this skin is sponsored by Shock. And you know what? I really like the do. What do you guys think of this do? Like it looks fluffy and bouncy and I'm a fan of that. His skates, they look like the trainers I wore when I was 12. Sponsored by Xbox too. Let's take a look at the weapon. This looks like a Nerf gun. You'll boop someone and one of those little sponge bullets will pop out. Look, speed. Speed, no no time for healing, a true Lucio main skin. Okay, at tier 50, we have an epic Junkrat skin. And honestly, you know, it's very typical of for Junkrat to trap himself by the head, of course. I mean, you know, I like his ponytail. At level 60, we have a legendary, it, what's this guy's name? <laughs> Mauga or something. Mauga. Is it Ma Mauga? Apparently it's Mauga. I don't really know anything about this character, but I'm going to blast him out when season eight releases. This skin is called Bone Splitter. You know, he's kitted out with bone armor pretty much everywhere except for the vital organs. Let's take a look at the weapon. Looks good. Let's take a look at it in first person. Oh man, I don't know what to do while I'm waiting on the practice range. Mauga, where is he? Here he is. Yo, the chunky chain guns. I like it. This guy feels awesome, to be honest. I'm looking forward to trying him. Okay, uh, we also, we didn't look at the Lucio skin. Where's my boy at? Where, there he is. Yeah, pretty standard first person, you know. We got that nerf gun. Back to the battle pass. At tier 70, we have an epic Zen skin called Beast Whisperer. And I heard that if you equip this skin, you can control Winston when he uses Primal Rage. So it's gonna be a pretty hard counter. 
I would say. Finally, at tier 80, we have the mythic skin, which is Orissa. Grand Beast. It's basically Orissa as a raid boss. That's it. When you equip this skin, you actually become three times larger with three times the health. Um, so I think this could ruin comp, to be honest. But, you know, on a serious note, it's a decent skin. It's nothing spectacular, but that might just be because Orissa is one of my least played heroes. There's actually another Orissa skin that's way more beastly than this. Let me show you. Like, this skin is terrifying, okay? Rubber Ducky. As for the customization options, there's two weapons. They both look all right. I feel like every time there's a new Mythic skin, there's less and less customization. So that's a, you know, an oopsie. Um, and there's also four different color schemes. We got the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth. Where are you, Orissa? Only through struggle do we survive. She be screaming. Yo, the spear looks pretty cool. Oh, the, the projectiles from our primary fire look cool. I like that. The whirlwind looks similar, but it does have a kind of different sound effect to it. Yeah, it sounds very robotic. What about fortify? Yeah, also sounds different. Oh, the ultimate, the ultimate. I haven't seen this. Oh, damn, that looks way more epic. This, the circle is glowing like crazy. Let's do it again. There it is. What do you think of the mythic skin? Let me know. I'm just going to check if I've missed anything big in the battle pass. This is no game. Ramatra, this is Overwatch 2 available for the PC, Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, and PlayStation. What are you talking about? Now for the shop skins. And, you know, I've seen them, but I can't remember any of them. So let's take a look. <laughs> Doomfist has a legendary shop skin called Funky. And I have to say... He's looking damn funky. The design of the gauntlet here looks amazing, actually. I really like this. Look at these dials, you know, just turn it up to 11. Maybe then he'll actually do some damage with his rocket punch. I like the glasses, the tash, the fro. You know, it's a good skin. This skin also comes with a highlight intro. Probably the best part. Wait till you see this. This is how you land when you use Meteor Strike now. Let's take a look at it in first person. You know, y'all already know, taking a look. First person. You saw it here first, baby. <laughs> oh my god. I'm losing the plot. The thing about Doomfist is like you can never see his skin that well in first person. It's kind of hidden. Oh yeah, what about Meteor Strike? <laughs> I would laugh if he actually did land <laughs> doing the splits. I think Mauga has a shop skin. Yeah, Magma. Number one, they should have called it Mogma. And number two, this is a really badass skin. I like it. He looks like a raid boss from Molten Core. Hashtag WoW Classic Crew, you know? The weapon looks good. Let's check it from first person. Ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rocking this, dude. This is a scary looking skin. This is the cockiest character of all time. All of his emotes are just him flexing and smiling. Reinhardt has this new skin, but it's a variation of an older skin. This one's a little more than a variation because he has like a different head. <laughs> yeah, it's a variation of this skin. I'm pretty sure this came out during Overwatch 1. I could be wrong, but I think it did. I actually think this new variation looks looks better, but he has a Widowmaker sticker. I don't know Reinhardt was a fan of Widowmaker. The weapon looks good. It's got a blade on the end of it. Oh, here we go. This is probably my favorite new skin. They made this to go along with his new terrifying rework. So, it, it you know, it's very scary. This Polar Hog. <laughs> He's so chub and cute. He has his bear belt and a horn and a compass. This is so he can find the supports in the back line. He has a crossbow on his back, you know, basically can replace Hanzo now. The breather. Yeah, I don't know what on earth this is. It looks like a raccoon. He doesn't put the bait out for what he's hunting. He just like inhales the bait himself. What? I don't know. <laughs> what about the hook? Hook looks pretty standard. The weapon. Weapon looks pretty cool. Do you, know, do you know what this is? This gun was made from a rope and a dead murloc. Oh wait, there's an emote. Oh damn, he's roasting. That's one of the meats from Tears of the Kingdom. Or it could be Hammond, like. <laughs> Aw, look at his little polar hog arms. Bro, every time I hop on hog, I think it's the old road hog. Look at his little polar bear paws. Look at them. I want this skin, but you know, money. Winston has a Christmas skin called Ugly Sweater, but I would say this is quite a beautiful sweater. The weapon, also printed with the sweater design. Um, he has a victory pose, lounging. Are you gonna take a sip? Do it. Take a sip, Winston. Winston, take a sip. 
I can't believe he doesn't take a sip. Zarya has a Christmas skin called Frozen. Nice hat and hair combo. I like it. She's also got a dancer mode, which is, uh, you know, it's all right. There's also this um, formal wear theme going on in the shop for this season. A bunch of the heroes have like formal wear outfits. I like them, but they could be better. Let me show you. Cassidy has a formal wear skin. There it is. Looking dapper. But the weapons are just like modeled after the default skin. So I don't know. I feel like they could have done some formal wear weapon designs or something. But I don't know. I like the actual skin here. Oh, he has a highlight intro? I think this is new, right? Sojourn has a formal wear skin as well. There it is. I actually like this one quite a lot. Looking damn smart, you know. But again, the weapon is just like the default skin. She's also got a new emote where she just goes in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, she cannot hide those gigantic cybernetic legs under those pants, you know? Tracer also has a form of wear skin. Like, to me, for some reason, she just aged, like, 20 years. The weapon? Also pretty standard. Yeah, I missed my sticky bomb. Yeah, that's me every game on Tracer. Uh, anything else new here? Uh, oh, Bap has a formal skin, and this one actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like this one. Look, there it is. Yeah, you gotta admit, like, Bap is looking smart here, but I don't play Bap. The weapon, it's shiny, but it's the default weapon model. This could be new, but I'm not sure. Who do you think Bap's gonna kiss? Torb. <laughs> May has a shop skin and it's called Cartographer. And you know, it's kind of cute. It's just an epic. She got the hat with the ears, the feather. There's a bunch of these new skins that are just kind of variations of old skins. This one's kind of cool, I guess. Widowmaker has a shop skin as well. Where is she? This is called Wild Tracker. I guess this is her hunter skin, you know? I think the weapon looks really good, to be honest. It's got like an egg print on it, like a Yoshi egg. Mercy has a new Christmas skin that I think Mercy players are gonna love. Jingle Bell. You know, it's pretty cute. She's got cream and cherries on her wings. I mean, that's just gonna go everywhere. Ah, the weapon's pretty cute, let's be real. We got the star and we got the snowman in there and the uh, pistol, <laughs> got a little red dot sight. There's also a highlight intro to go along with this, homemade cookies, where she just sniffs some homemade cookies. Ah. Moira has an epic skin called Magma, and um, this is a hard counter to Mei, to be honest. So when you're wearing this skin, Mei can no longer freeze you. Pay to win, but you know, whatever. Oh yeah, there's something new this season as well, and it's called Weapon Skins. Rein has one. If we go to Reinhardt, see here, Weapon Skins. So you can basically equip this over any other skin. But yeah, I was gonna say, like, they should go even further with the Weapon Skins. They, you, they should allow you to mix and match the skins with the weapons skins. Do you know what I'm saying? So you could have like the Santa clad skin, right? But with the surf and splash weapons. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out my last video because it's, I just released it. It's super wacky, but that's it for this one. Let me know what you think of the skins and I'll see you in the next video.